Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante. Let's test Krita 3. Free Alpha 2. Check this out. It works! So pre-alpha, there is probably like a huge amount of glitches in here and such, but the tablet works. It looks pretty much identical to Krita 2, except for the uh, like all the elements of the design, including even borders and all the top panels and all that. Everything is different and looks really close to Photoshop level, which is awesome. I kind of had to turn off the OpenGL support because there was some kind of glitch with the strokes, with the way they were rendering. I don't know. It's too early to judge that kind of stuff, I think. But anyway, let's actually play with a brush engine this time. I want to create a perfect brush. Uh, the kind of brush I have in Photoshop. Like the triangle and the flat brush. Two of my most favorite brushes. We'll apply textures, we'll make them slightly bristly, all that kind of stuff. So let's start with the flat brush. I can already see there are a couple of cool... Oh yeah, this is a cool place to test your brush, by the way. And also you can draw a symbol for it and then it will save it and you will see like these have their own symbols and your custom brush will have your own scribble on it. It's kind of cool. So let's see, we'll choose this. Uh-huh, made the spacing a bit smaller, so the stroke would be more solid. Holy crap, look at this amount of blending modes. Oh, <laughs> what are those? Like all possible ways of combining layers in all possible color spaces. Mathematical! Anyway, we need normal. <laughs> Can I make it more opaque, or is it going to be just like this? There we go. The opacity is at 1 everywhere, so had to just decrease the spacing. It already has some sort of smudge blending going on with it. Where is that? I don't see that turned on at all. <laughs> Maybe... It, oh, it's a type of brush. There are different brush engines. That's what's up. So this is the color smudge brush. And if we start it in it, we won't be able to completely change it right now. Okay, let's turn on rotation, uh, drawing angle. Oh no, no, that's creepy. I mean, it's kind of cool sometimes, but we need the tilt, tilt direction, I think, right? Yeah, there we go, now I can do all kinds of stuff. Cool, almost feel like at home. Oh yes, this cool smudge blending thing is really fancy. I always missed this so much in Photoshop. Although I'm not sure if I would actually use it, but I think I would. On a certain stage, it like, might be really helpful. Oh, there we go. There's some kind of smudge length and smudge radius settings, depending on the brush pressure. What if I remove it? Aha, uh -huh, it's gonna be a completely dry brush with a very weird color. Dulling, caution, pierced brush. <laughs> smear. And smear will be doing the Photoshop finger kind of thing. Yeah, the directional smudging. No, dulling is way more awesome. So I guess pierced brush, they mean that it's very flat, and that's why uh, the smudging is kind of also creating flat spots. And it kind of looks weird. What if we go a bit thicker? Ooh, nice brick. Oh, yes, baby. This is fucking high quality smudging right there. I'm having an orgasm, you just can't see it. I'm gonna save it as... Boro 1? Uh-huh, beautiful thumbnail. <laughs> uh, I wanna test, like, if I wanna go to a different type of brush, can I somehow transfer? Oh, we can crash the program this way. Hmm. Well then, there's pre-alpha for ya. I wonder if my brush is saved. Yay, my brush is still here. It saved it. Cool. I think if Photoshop would crash at this point, it would actually lose the brush. Heh, <laughs> I remember that. I know all the ways to crash Photoshop. I don't think there are any left right now, actually, but there was like in CS4. 
Anyway, let's try to go into the bristle brush again. Crash? 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 No? Crash! So, when we make a stroke, after going to a different type of brush or something, I'm not sure. Let's choose the bristle brush from the menu and then go in the settings. Maybe this will save us. This looks like the bristle brush. Cool. Actually cool looking. When it's very dense, it looks nice. I mean, it should be a lot more dense to actually be usable. Let's try and do that. Aha, uh -huh. so we can like choose... What? Whoa, we can choose an alpha that would define where bristles will be generated. It looks like hell right now, but still, this is awesome. Let's turn on the rotation. Wow, it looks so weird. <laughs> uh, where is the thing? Bristle options. Scale, 5. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is dense. Oh, that there's density. <laughs> Wow, this is like super bristly brush. And you can choose any kind of shape for it. That's awesome. And texture on top, right? Texture? Anyone? Anyone? Texture? I guess no texture. Well, I guess that, that would be too heavy for the graphics card or someone out there. Man, this is cool. Size depending on the speed. Huh, <laughs> cool. Let's go the classics way. Just pressure, but not too much. Kind of like this. Nice. What is that? Sheer. Oh boy. That is sick, but what does it mean? Wow, this really feels cool. Kind of natural, although it's not exactly natural. I'm trying to understand the nature of this thing. It's kind of rotating it and squishing. Random offset. That will look nervous. Blech. Oh, it's too too fast nervous. That's kind of weird. Yeah, like this way you can see it. It's, it, it would be cool if it would have like a bigger amplitude. I'm loving this stuff. This is so cool. It would be awesome though if we could like combine everything together like this brush plus texture plus blending of a smudging but I mean that's obvious that that would be awesome I guess it's probably just technically not doable in the third version it has like a weird hotkey for the color picker it's a control instead of alt weird I think this is the first 2D program on my practice that uses control for color picker. And I mean, color picker, it's a uh, control and click instead of alt and click. This is the kind of hotkey that you can't change. So you're gonna have to deal with control click. Oh yes, this is cool. Although this repetitive pattern that appears, it's kind of gross. What is this about? It has like stitches. When I'm making a fast stroke, it becomes like this. It looks weird. I actually had it in most brushes, like it has some sort of a... Let me save this one first. It has like a glitch of strokes. I thought that was from the OpenGL thing. But you can see the stitches, they are like everywhere. And I can't tell if that took place in Krita 2 because I had no chance to actually make decent strokes. Whoa. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of brushes that are kind of like reacting on the stroke like this. I remember there was like a web tool, like a website where you can draw and there was a bunch of pencils that do this kind of stuff. And it's kind of like cool because you can create a quick sketch effect with hatching and stuff. Ooh, gross. And this is apparently taken from there. Or maybe it was called Krita, I don't know. But this is kind of interesting. Oh, this is very smooth and nice. With basic smoothing. What if we're gonna go stabilizer? Whoa. There's like a circle and my pen is going inside of it. 
kind of cool if I'm not leaving the circle it's not moving and it's creating a very smooth effect in the end awesome what else uh, weighted smoothing that's just super smooth and without actual edge depending on speed and stuff I guess but you see you see this thing like this this is the step right here you see a little bit of a glitch pixel wide even like half a pixel and this I was making a quick smooth stroke and these kind of stitches appear seams that's weird I I'm not sure if that took place before I don't think anyone would be able to paint something decent if that would actually be like that in Krita 2 and I know there are quite a few awesome artworks made in Krita so yeah I guess this is just uh, another glitch on the way of solving the problem with tablets I guess Actually, Google did a lot, and yeah, a lot of people have this problem. Mostly the ones who have two monitors, or just the Cintiq monitor. Like, there's something's wrong with the uh, mapping, I guess. Maybe when it also has touch, maybe that's why. And the problem is, I was like going through the forums, reading how support guys from Krita are answering, and they're like actually testing stuff and all that. And then I realized that those are the messages from 2013. And the problem is still here, I'm like, oh boy. Okay, so if I'm gonna change this, am I gonna crash? Well, I didn't crash from that before. Oh my god, who would need this? Web designers? I guess. Wow, my eyes are hurt from that. <laughs> hatching options. Do we have some kind of randomizer here? No cross hatching. Perpendicular plane only. Uh huh. 45 degrees. Oh boy, that's getting massive. Moir. Moir. Pattern. What's that? Ooh, I think this kind of stuff no not like this but anyway this kind of patterns could work for anime when not anime the manga when you are painting black and white and you have to like fill in there's like a style for this kind of thing separation there's a lot of settings for this stuff that's kind of cool thickness well yeah everything's pretty obvious but no randomizer it's absolutely perfect diagonal lines and that's it wait what are these separation thickness based on pressure for instance right that mu oh boy that's <laughs> separation okay if we set it up it might be kind of cool although messy i think uh, yeah like that messy <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. It's like integer kind of thing. It, so it's not gonna be messy. It's actually awesome. If you can actually set up proper amount of levels, it's kind of cool. It goes from every other one to every one based on your pressure. That kind of looks awesome. I never had to deal with this kind of brushes. It's really cool. Like a really stylish thing. You can create some awesome things and just bleed your eyes out from that kind of view. Aha, uh -huh, whoa, this looks awesome. <laughs> Interesting brushes. Okay, so I guess we can use this window after changing, but we have to like close the window and reopen it again to not have the crash. Bristol sketch. Sketch, I assume, is the one that's connecting everything. Yep. Okay. Let's go crazy with it. I want to have like a lot of connection lines. Diameter of what? Where are we at all? No, that's not it. Line width. One pixel. Offset scale. Not a big one. Density. Oh yeah, baby. Can we connect on a bigger distance? Offset scale. That's... What? Oh boy, oh the diameter of the brush changes the distance because the brush is always super thin. Awesome, so we can like holy shit. Okay, let's do the density thing a bit lower. Oh, that looks so cool. You can like pretend that you're an awesome 
architecture or something, and this is like your, I don't know, bridge? The most complex and weird bridge in the world? Or like uh, the, uh, what do they call them? Roller coaster. Like, you're the fucking roller coaster tycoon. Cool. These are cool looking. I like this kind of brush. Not sure if I would use it again, but definitely has some kind of benefits. Density based on pressure. So, if I'm pressing softly, it's like this. If I'm pressing hardly, yeah. Cool. Okay, what's shape brush? Oh, oh, these are actually awesome. I love this kind of brush in alchemy. When you can just paint, like, the lasso that's creating a spot right away. But it has to have a bit of control, like it should be able to be transparent or something. Well, we can just choose it. It's cool for, like, concept art or something, when you're just creating spots, and you're just creating shadows, and you're just thinking, what is this? I guess it's some kind of smiling ghost. Oh my god, I'm a genius concept artist. See? Awesome. 10 out of 10, wood concept again. It's hard to go precise on this, but that's not the point of this thing at all. It's really cool, actually. Well, anyway, these are quite the awesome brushes. We'll be checking this out more. Maybe actually paint something in it, after all. So, yeah. This was Krita 3, pre-alpha 2. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Smudge stuff. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Tycoon Roller Coaster on Crack.